I recently received a notification on my Zenbook 13 OLED that Windows 11 is available to me, that I can download and install it for free. I honestly don't know if I should proceed or not that time, so I decided to spend several hours learning the benefits and risks of upgrading to Windows 11. In this video, I am going to share what I learned and my experiences before, during and after the upgrade, and hope this can make your own Windows 11 upgrade a bit smoother and have lesser worry. Let's get started. Okay. The first thing that I suggest you do is research. Find out the known issues of Windows 11. Has it been solved yet? Does it affect a certain application or hardware? Is my machine included in the vulnerable hardware? And I using an application that will not work in Windows 11? These are the questions that runs in my mind, and I got all the answers by researching. It turns out that machines using AMD CPU or Risen chips had slowed down issues on Windows 11, and my ZenBook 13 OLED has a Risen 7 chip. Fortunately, the patch of build 22282 has already solved that. So, that's a check for me. The next thing that you'd want to do is take a PC health check. Just search for Windows 11 PC health check, then go to the Windows 11 official website, and at the bottom part of the page, you will see the link to download the PC health check application. Click on that to download the installer. I've already done that and this is the downloaded installer file. Just run in and install. I've also done that, so now I have an icon here for the PC health check. Just run it, and it will notify you if your PC is supported by Windows 11. Mine is obviously supported since I already got my notification. And in case your PC is not supported, don't worry since there is a way to still install Windows 11 on an unsupported PC, which I'll make a separate video soon, so watch out for that. From here you can open the Windows Update page, which brings us to the third item that you'd want to do, which making that your current Windows 10 is up to date. From the Windows Update page, do not click on the Download and Install Windows 11 button yet, instead, click of the Check for Updates button. You will need to do this repeatedly until there's no more updates being installed on Windows 10, making sure that your Windows 10 version is that latest and greatest before you upgrade to Windows 11. This will minimize any possible issues when upgrading. Next is backup your files. You can do this with your cloud drive subscription or to your offline hard drives like what I'm doing now. Windows 11 upgrade is generally safe, but we'll never know what could go wrong, so it's better to be safe than sorry and do a backup of your files. After backing up, make sure that you are on a good location for a Wi-Fi signal, or better yet, just use a wired connection, if possible. The upgrade will be downloading a large file and connection interruption might make things messy for you. So, make sure that you have a good and stable connection before starting your upgrade. Lastly, plug in your machine. There's no telling how long the upgrade will take, so it's better to be sure that you won't run out of juice in the middle of the upgrade. Also, in most PC, plugging in triggers the high-performance power options of your machine which makes everything faster. If you've done your research, you passed the PC health check, got your current Windows 10 updated to the latest and greatest, you have backed up your files, have a stable internet connection and your PC is plugged into a power source, we are now ready to download and install. Just click accept and install here, and we're off. Time check. It's 2.28 pm. Just a quick check if my connections are good. It appears they are. A few moments later. Time check again. 2.49 pm. 21 minutes later, we are at 94%. A few minutes later. At 99% on 2.53 pm. That's 25 minutes after we started. Add another 2 minutes and we are done with the download. It is now installing. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, at 25% of installation, it suddenly went back to downloading again, starting from 0%. It seems that it needs other resources to be downloaded. This download is a bit faster though than the first one. Time check. It's 3.02 pm, which is 34 minutes after we've this started. A few minutes later. The second download is done and we're back to 25% installation here. Time check. 3.05 pm. 37 minutes in. More moments later. At 3.35 pm, that's 47 minutes in, installation is done, and we are now ready to restart. Let's switch to cell phone recording here. I'm now clicking restart now button. Restarting. I'm both excited and scared right now. Let's fast forward this. My laptop rebooted just once during the process. But it could be different to others. There we go. We are now in the boot up page of Windows 11. You can tell that the font is different now, as well as the placement of the clock. 
Let me log in with my Face ID. Please boot up properly, please. And there we go. I am now successfully upgraded to Windows 11. I like this new UI. It feels professional, clean and really new. Great UI design. Alright. After upgrading, the first thing that you should do is check for updates. Let's go to the about page first so we'll know where we at right now. We are currently at 22,258 build. We are targeting to be on the .282 build, since that contains the fix for the AMD chip slowed down. Let's go to updates. Check for updates. Here we go, there's already a cumulative update here which I believe is the 22,282 build. Let's download and install it. It's now downloading. A few moments later. Four minutes later, download is done, and we are now at 25% installation of the patch. More moments later. Total of 10 minutes now, we are done with the patch, and I'm going to restart now. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay. We have restarted. You might noticed that my start menu is on the left now. You can easily set this up by right-clicking on the taskbar, then go to the taskbar settings. Below, look for taskbar behavior. Expanded. Then in the taskbar alignment, you can select left or center. I think I still like it to be on the left side. I also noticed that there's a bunch of pre-installed applications here that I don't have before. This could be the reason why Windows 11 is free. A lot of bloatwares. I already uninstalled several of them, and I still have TikTok, Instagram and Facebook here, which I'm also going to uninstall. Okay, I think these apps are good now. Let's go back to check updates. I still have two updates here for the camera and .NET. Let's download it. While that is being installed, let's go to the About This PC page to check our build number. Let's go down. There we go. We are now on the 22,282 build, which is the latest one that has all the fix needed for an AMD Risen machine like mine. Looks like the updates are done. Let's do one more check just to be sure. There we go. We have one more update here. Check for updates again just to be sure that we are in the latest and greatest version of Windows 11. Okay. We're all good. Now that we are sure that we are on the latest Windows 11 build, the next thing to do is test your applications. Let me search for the applications I usually use and pin them to start. Okay. Now let's open them one by one. So far so good. Everything is working as is. Chrome Browser, Paint, Snipping Tool, Handbrake, OBS, Photoshop, Adobe Reader DC, MS Office Applications, Balabolka, even the games like Asphalt, and more, are all working properly. The only issue that I encounter is the Wondershare Filmora 10, which does not load at all. I was worried at first, but when I uninstalled it and then reinstall again, it is working properly. This video is actually created in my Windows 11 laptop using Filmora 10. Everything is working great and no hiccups on any application so far. Lastly, if you are not happy with Windows 11, or maybe your PC cannot handle Windows 11, you have 10 days to roll back to Windows 10. Just go to the settings. Then go to recovery, and you'll see an option here to go back. Just click on the go back button, and it will trigger the rollback to Windows 10. Okay. I hope this helps. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you love it, please consider subscribing to the channel. Millisage for watching. Now the air.